what's up guys this tutorial is going to be simple and straightforward okay so i'm going to show you guys how you can control your easy worship application using your smartphone whether it's an android phone or an iphone you can easily control your easy worship application by projecting scriptures song lyrics motion graphics using your smartphone then after that i'm going to show you how you can connect your easy worship into vmix and control it from your smartphone as well so when you press on your smartphone it triggers the easy worship and then it triggers the ndi connection from the easy worship into the vmix application and it's going to be fun to learn this all right so i want to walk you through the demonstration and after that i'm going to take your hand and walk you through step by step how to achieve this this all right so let's do a demonstration after that we dive into the tutorials okay so when you come here this pc all right is running easy worship okay and then this pc is running vmix okay this is my smartphone okay you can see that the easy worship over here is appearing over here so whatever i click over here update live all right it updates live over here if i click here updates live and then i've been able to connect the vmix application to it through the ndi so whatever i click over here update on the easy worship and then update on the vmix as well but one cool thing you can learn from this is that this is a projector screen for the church auditorium all right so this goes to the church auditorium and this goes to the online uh, uh, streaming all right your streaming your online streaming so whatever i click over here one goes to the church auditorium screens and then one goes to your online platform you can clearly see that this in this background over here this interface you see over here is not appearing on the vmix application all right it's not appearing appearing on the vmix application the the vmix application is having a transparent background okay a transparent background which is showing over here so whatever i do over here so when i go back when i go back like this i can easily project anything i wanted to project and then update life over here it updates life on the screen you can see it updates life on easy worship and then she updates life here i can go back again i can go back again and then click on bible when i click on the bible it shows here and then it has a way it shows here as well you see when i go back and i click on the bible it shows there all right when i go back again and i click on a lower third all right if you want to show a lower third it shows here nicely you can see the lower third shows here nicely all right so guys this is what i want to show you guys how to do and i hope you are going to enjoy this tutorial so without much will guys let's dive right into the tutorial all right guys so let's get started all right so as you guys have watched from the video intro we are going to dive in and start doing everything okay but one thing i want to point out here is that i'm recording this section of the tutorials at home but i shot the video intro at church so there must be a change in graphics like the songs i use the the, the bible scriptures and the backgrounds i use them might be a little change in them because i'm recording the tutorials from my laptop so when you see something like that just bear with me because i'm recording this at home all right so let's get started now okay so the first settings i want you guys to do is that click on the edit button over here when you click on it then go to options this dialog box will open all right so we open like this we have to check a setting say before we continue okay so head over and click advance scroll down until you see remote control settings okay make sure that this button is checked okay by default it's supposed to check but if in case it is off make sure that you confirm it and check it on all right close this button all right so guys so before you continue with tutorials make sure that you are running easy worship 7 all right is the easy worship 7 that have these features on it okay the remote control access on it okay easy worship 6 and easy worship 2009 doesn't have this feature so make sure that you are running easy worship 7 okay and another thing you have to take note is that make sure that you are connected to the same network all right so 
your 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 mobile phone and your computer is connected to the same network so you can use router or a hotspot from your phone to your pc will be good to go okay so when all these things are met then let's go okay so the first thing we wanted to do is they want to go on our smartphone and download the easy worship remote app then you come to the easy worship and then come and connect it together okay so head over to your so head over to your play store or your app store okay if you are using an android phone go to your play store if you are using an iphone go to your app store okay and then search for easy worship okay easy worship remote app search for it like this okay this is mine okay so this is the interface of the application okay so you can you can you have the logo here when you set a logo on it it will appear then you can put the screen on black and clear as these functionalities are on the easy worship okay and then when you click on the three lines over here there are settings and schedules you can do but right? when you click on your settings this this way you are going to do your settings and then connect it to the version on the pc okay so let's do the connection now okay so on the pc this application remote you can see something like remote over here click on it like this okay and then come down you will see easy worship remote with the desktop name by default it is off click on it okay when you click on it like this okay it's going to when you click on it like this it's going to allow you to download the driver that will allow you to connect your phone to your pc okay if you're a first time user okay since i've done it already i've i've been able to download that driver but if you're a first time user it's going to give you access for you to download the bonjour driver okay so when you download it and then install it then when you click on the on button is going to on like this for you okay so please kindly take note of that okay. so when you click on it and it's on like this then you come to the the easy worship app on your iphone or your android phone okay so you can see the server under the server you can see the pc uh, the easy worship name over here all right the pc name over here. then the connection status you can see that it's waiting for pairing okay and then we have the name the and other controls over here all right so it's waiting for pairing so on the pc on the pc you can see that there is an iphone over here this, this is the, this is the name of the of my iphone okay the name is an iphone so you can see the same iphone on the easy worship here so what you have to do is i just click on the pair okay so when you click on the pair you, when you come to your easy worship mobile you can see that it is paired now okay but the connection status is saying that view only okay and then when you check the easy worship pc you can see that there's a lock over here so you can only view you can't do anything with it so for you to give it an access you need to uh, unlock it so they can give it access to it so click on the lock button like this and it's going to unlock it and they're going to get full access so when you come to the easy worship mobile version you can see that it's saying that full connection under the connection status means that we are fully connected and okay guys so when all the connection is set okay when your um, remote icon is showing green everything is set all right uh, you can see that these are my schedules okay whatever i've scheduled everything is here okay and these are my schedules i've done on the pc okay and when you come to the mobile app okay the same schedules have appeared over here you can see them over here all right genesis chapter 1 verse 5 king james is here job chapter 36 verse 3 is here and then the intro is here and then the song is below it okay that one too is here is down there all right so so for this app to work very well for you you have to make sure that whatever thing you want to project you schedule it okay this app work with schedules okay if you want to search the bible on it directly it will not work so make sure that you schedule everything if you want to project songs you make sure that you put you schedule the songs if you want to project uh, uh, the bible scripture make sure that i schedule it before you can project it and then if you want to put you want to show a, a graphic maybe a motion graphics a video or an image okay make sure that it's schedule it. whatever is scheduled you can easily control it from the mobile app okay so anything you want to schedule when you when you click on the item just click on the plus button over here 
and then automatically it's going to schedule you can see that it's scheduled so whatever is scheduled here will appear on the left side of the easy washing based on the position you are sitting okay all right so when it come like this so, so let's look at the songs okay hallelujah okay because the hallelujah song is here this one the hallelujah okay so let me click it from the mobile app and for you guys to see so this hallelujah song and then when i click on it like this it appears like this over here okay you can see that the screen have loaded here i'm having the output of the easy worship screen over here showing hallelujah okay and then the chorus and the verses have shown over here when i scroll down, i'm going to see all the chorus and the verses over here so when i click on verse one when i click on it like you can see that it updates on the easy worship application when i click on the verse two it updates when i click on the verse three it updates when i click on the verse four it updates as well okay so if you want to go back or another functionality you can do is if you want to clear the screen when you click on the clear it goes off when you click on it again it comes and then when i put, want to put the screen on black when i click on the black like this it goes off from the, uh, the the desktop and then when i click on it back again it comes off and then if i've set the logo when i click on it the logo will appear because i haven't set any logo it's going to give me a black screen all right so you can see that it is showing at the logo button so when i click on it like this it goes off again okay so whatever i wanted to do so one thing you can also do is they can click back to the three lines over here the menu i can click on it like this and then go back okay when you come back you are back to your schedules where you can see all your schedules okay so if you want to project anything like bible when you click on it the bible you schedule shows over here just click on it like this okay and then you can see that the bible scripture have happened okay so you can see guys that the bible background is different from the songs background you can see that the bible background is quite different and then it's showing on the easy worship and showing the mobile as well and then when you look at the beneath then the next bible uh, scripture i have i have, I have uh, scheduled shows below it so when i click on it like this it jump into it and then that one to show as well you can see that it's job chapter 36 verse 7 that one's also show as well okay So for us to do that first we have to come to edit and then click options okay you click options like this all right and then when you come to the options okay this way we are going to do the settings okay we have the main output and then the alternative output okay so the main output is the primary screen that goes to the church auditorium okay so this this you see over here is going to go to the church auditorium. this you see over here this one is going to go to the church auditorium all right for them to be able to read the scriptures from it okay so what we wanted to do is that and you can see that uh, the, the primary output is primary so keep it as primary monitor okay and then come to alternative output okay click on alternative output like this this is where we're going to do our settings okay by default it is on check all right like this make sure that you check it on okay when you check it this put it on ndi screen and then, then leave the settings like this so we are done setting our screen so now let's go into vmix and let's see how we can capture this uh, uh, screen into the vmix software then we will proceed from there all right all right guys so after doing all your configuration with the easy worship application launch your vmix application and then come here click on add input over here when you click on add input this a uh, dialog box will open for you then you navigate to enter desktop capture okay so you see easy worship alternative output over here click on it like this and then click ok all right guys so when you click on it this uh, thing will show so you can see that the the output of the easy worship over here have been captured into the vmix software over here all right so uh, you can see that the vmix uh, the easy worship output has a background and then in, in the vmix software is having a transparent background over here so at this point you can go to settings and then you can adjust the position all right you can adjust the position and make it small and then you bring it down okay uh, you can adjust the position over here all right So you can adjust the position by clicking the settings icon then go to position so you can increase the zoom 
okay you can decrease the zoom like this and then you, you bring it down all right you bring it down over here like this okay you bring it down you can still make it small to how you want it and then you can bring it down all right here like this all right okay so imagine if this is an overlay okay if your singers are singing they can be displaying the lyrics of a song below it or a pastor is preaching they can be displaying the bible scriptures beneath you just have to give it a background okay that will cover it and then you are good to go all right uh, so guys this is what i want to show you guys how to do and it's very very effective as you can see okay my computer is running very very slow i can't even press on the mobile lab for it to update for you guys to see but you've seen how it's working after i show in the intro and it works okay so just follow the tutorials and then implement the same thing i taught here and then we are going to have the same results over here okay so guys thank you very much for staying to this time to watch the tutorial i really appreciate your time and i'll catch you in another tutorial thank you very much all right